Hi, my name is Professor Silver, and in today's class, we'll be breaking down the Kanto history of Ash's Pikachu, detailing all his battles, storylines, and character development. The Journeys episode, Enter Pikachu, revealed that when Pikachu was a Pichu, he lived a lonely existence in the woods outside of Palatown. Unlike the other Pokémon who resided there, Pichu had no friends or family. It wasn't until Pichu met a kindly Kangaskhan that he finally found someone who cared for him. Kangaskhan loved Pichu like her own child, but Pichu thought he was too big of a burden so he ran off in the dead of night. While reflecting on his time with Kangaskhan, Pichu swelled with affection and evolved into Pikachu. Before Pikachu's debut in I Choose You, O captured him in an unknown manner. Because Ash woke up too late to receive a Squirtle, Bulbasaur, or Charmander as his starter, Professor Oak took pity and offered him Pikachu, even though he worried Pikachu's stubborn personality would be too much for Ash to handle. I see what you mean. Pikachu initially delighted Ash, but his excitement dissipated after Pikachu rejected his Pokeball, dished out pain with Thundershock, and refused a move of his own volition. Ash allowed Pikachu to stay outside his Pokeball as a compromise, but Pikachu gave him the cold shoulder, refused to help him catch a Pidgey, and laughed at his misfortune. <laughs> Pikachu only leapt into action after being attacked by a wild Spira who Ash had antagonized. Spiro's flock chased Ash and did major damage to Pikachu, so Ash stepped up to the plate, did all he could to ensure Pikachu escaped further harm, stole Misty's bike, rode as hard as he could through a lightning storm, and bravely shielded Pikachu from the army of Spiro. Ash's heroism, words of encouragement, and willingness to sacrifice himself so impressed Pikachu that he came to Ash's aid and barbecued all the Spiro in sight. Pikachu's bravery cemented his friendship with Ash and showed that he had finally accepted Ash as his trainer, but also left him in dire injury. After receiving inspiration from Ho-Oh, Ash rushed Pikachu to the Viridian Poké Center in Pokémon Emergency. While Pikachu healed from his injuries, Team Rocket invaded the center, laid siege, and tried to steal a plethora of Pokéballs. Before Team Rocket succeeded, Pikachu woke from his slumber, supercharged his electricity, gave them the shock of their life, and blasted them off by igniting Coughing's fumes. Since Jesse and James believe Pikachu solely responsible for the explosion, they made it their mission to follow Ash wherever he went and steal the electric mouse. After the Poké Center's destruction, Ash and Pikachu ventured into the Viridian Forest where they hoped to capture new Pokémon and increase their strength. During their adventures and Ash catches a Pokémon in Challenge of the Samurai, Pikachu consoled Caterpie, helped catch Pidgeotto, temporarily lost vision, zapped the Beedrill, and got in some R&R. &R. At the Pewter Gym and Showdown in Pewter City, Pikachu fought Brock's Onyx in his very first battle. Despite bonding with Ash, Pikachu was so scared of Onyx that he begged Ash to use Pidgeotto instead. Onyx tackled Pikachu, wrapped him within Vine, ignored Thundershock, and blocked Ash's Pokeball. So Ash gave up the match out of concern for Pikachu's well-being. Following Ash's training with Brock's father Flint to upgrade Pikachu's power, Pikachu took part in Ash's rematch with Brock, toasted Geodude, and let loose Thunderbolt on Onyx. Onyx nearly won a second time, but Thunderbolt set off the gym sprinklers, soaking it in water. Pikachu shocked Onyx into submission, but Ash gave up anyway, as he wished to mimic Brock's mercy and win under more honorable circumstances. Ash's kindness impressed Brock, so he presented Ash with the Boulder Badge and joined him on his journey. Ash intended for Pikachu to devastate Misty's water types at the Cerulean Gym in the Water Flowers of Cerulean City, but Pikachu's friendship with Misty prevented him from battling. What he lacked in experience, Pikachu made up for with a whole lot of gumption. Using his wits, Pikachu took out a Cubone in School of Hard Knocks and ferociously overcame Bulbasaur in Bulbasaur in the Hidden Village. Beyond becoming a determined battler, Pikachu became such good friends with Ash that Ash learned to interpret his gestures as speech in Charmander the Stray Pokemon and rushed off for medicine when Pikachu fell ill in Here Comes the Squirtle Squad. Upon reaching Vermilion City in Electric Shock Showdown, Ash and Pikachu put their union to the ultimate test against Lieutenant Surge and his Raichu. In stark contrast to the previous gym challenges, Pikachu desperately wanted to battle as he desired to prove his strength and show that he wasn't any less powerful than his evolved counterpart. Unfortunately, Raichu derailed Pikachu's plans, countered Thundershock with one of its own, and finished Pikachu off with Mega Punch, Mega Kick, and Thunderbolt. The loss severely damaged Pikachu's body and spirit, so Nurse Joy offered Ash a Thunderstone, hoping evolution would give Pikachu the boost he needed to beat his rival. Rather than force Pikachu to evolve like what Surge did with Raichu, Ash let Pikachu decide for himself and relayed that he'd respect Pikachu's decision no matter what he chose. Pikachu opted not to evolve as he wanted to defend the honor of Pikachu everywhere and win without resorting to shortcuts. Because Raichu evolved too quickly and never learned the speed-based attacks it could only learn as a Pikachu, Pikachu set out to win the battle by relying on quick attack and agility. Raichu started off strong with a flurry of tail slams and a heavy-bellied body slam, 
The Pikachu tired it out with agility, grounded himself to avoid thunder, landed quick attack, and triumphed with an electric slap. Besides earning Ash the Thunder Badge, Pikachu also gained them the respect of their rivals. After the match, Pikachu provided utility support as Ash's ever loyal ally. He protected the St. Anne from Team Rocket, got lost on the island of giant Pokemon, defended Ash's honor to Bulbasaur, fought the Tentacool and Tentacruel army, consoled Butterfree over its heartbreak, teamed with the Bug type against Team Rocket, and battled Sabrina Zabra at the Saffron Gym and Abra in the Psychic Showdown. During the match, Abra teleported away from Thundershock, evolved into Kadabra, redirected electricity, fired off confusion, made Pikachu look a fool, and finished him off with some telekinetic backbreakers. Pikachu helped Ash enlist Haunter for the rematch, but the ghost type's sudden disappearance forced Pikachu to protect Ash, confront his fears, and battle Kadabra and Haunter instead. Even though Kadabra dominated Pikachu with teleport, Psybeam, and recover, Ash earned the Marsh Badge anyway after Haunter reappeared and broke down Sabrina's psychological barriers. Despite Pikachu's courage against Kadabra, Charmander became Ash's strongest Pokemon in Primate Goes Bananas when it proved the only Pokemon tough enough to beat Primate. Because Pikachu was still the heart and soul of Ash's team, he regularly inspired Ash to never give up, even when faced with near-unbeatable opponents like Erika's Gloom in Pokemon Sensation. Pikachu suffered embarrassing setbacks against Ekans and Coffin in Pokemon Fashion Flash, a Jinx in Holiday Hijinx, and Anthony's Hitmonchan in the Punchy Pokemon, but proved invaluable to Ash against the Grimer and Muck Army in Sparks Fly from Magnemite. After weakening Muck so Ash could catch it, Pikachu took a break from battling for some comic relief. During the Big P Pokemon race in the Flame Pokemonathon, he tired out Squirtle, surfed across the course, and fell prey to Arbok's glare. In Pikachu's Goodbye, Pikachu's journey with Ash nearly ended after he saved a baby Pikachu from certain doom and befriended the Pikachu's pack. Since the pack accepted Pikachu into their ranks, allowed him to sing the song of their people, cheered him for blasting off Team Rocket, and filled him with joy, Ash thought Pikachu would be happier with his own kind and ran off without him. In one of the series' most touching scenes to date, Pikachu defied Ash's expectations, departed from his new friends, leapt into Ash's arms, and clarified once and for all that wherever Ash went, he would follow. The very next episode in the Battling Eevee Brothers, Ash repaid Pikachu's kindness by refusing Sparky's Thunderstone and by reassuring Pikachu that he was perfect no matter his form. During Pikachu's other Kanto adventures, he developed a love for ketchup, stopped a gang war, beat up a Paris, tasered Charmeleon, took down Cassidy's Raticate, visited George Clooney's doctor's office, electrocuted Meowth during the battle for Togepi, developed a brotherly relationship with Togepi, comforted Bulbasaur for not wanting to evolve, trained with Officer Jenny, protected Ash from a gang of Growlithe, and joined Misty at the Princess Festival in Princess vs. Princess. During the competition, Pikachu zapped a Firo and nearly swept Jesse in the finals, but fell to Lickitung. In Volcanic Panic and Riddle Me This, Pikachu famously defeated Blaine's Rhydon by aiming for its horn, but easily lost to Magmar. Charizard earned Ash the Volcano Badge in Pikachu's stead, but Pikachu qualified him for the Indigo League by shocking all the Pokémon at the Viridian Gym in the battle for the Earth Badge. As preparation for the League, Pikachu starred in a Hollywood film, battled a giant Onyx, trained with Brock's Vulpix, shocked Atoshi's Marowak, ran with the Flame of Moltres, took out three of Raymond's Pokémon, and traveled to New Island in Mewtwo Strikes Back. During the film's climactic battle royale, Pikachu showed incredible maturity by being one of only three Pokémon to not engage in a fight to the death. Ash considered Pikachu for the League's first round, but Kingler swept Mandy before he battled. In the third round, opposite Pete Pebbled and Zarkonine in Fire and Ice, Pikachu dashed around the battlefield, dove into the melted water, and triumphed with Thunderbolt. During the fourth round rumble, Pikachu tried to best Jeanette's Bellsprout, but the grass type danced away from Thundershock, let loose Razor Leaf, dispersed Thunderbolt, and won with a kick. While awaiting the league's fifth round in a friend indeed, Pikachu met Richie, befriended Sparky, and teamed with his new buddy to blast off Arbok. During Ash and Richie's battle and friends and foes alike, Pikachu fought through exhaustion from a previous bout with Team Rocket to roast Happy, but still fell prey to Zippo's flamethrower and tackle. Since Charizard refused to battle Sparky, Ash forfeited the league and entered a deep depression. In in Friends to the End, Pikachu helped Ash get out of his funk, bid farewell to Sparky, joined Ash at the League's closing ceremonies, and returned with him to Pallet Town. Because Ash vowed to learn from his mistakes, get stronger, and become a Pokémon master no matter the cost, he and Pikachu followed up their Kanto adventures by competing in the Orange League. Pikachu won against Spearow, Meowth, Jesse Zekins, James's Coughing, Ash's Pidgeotto, Brock's Geodude, Brock's Onyx, Giselle's Cubone, Ash's Bulbasaur, Lieutenant Surge's Raichu, Wild Tentacool, Wild Grimer, Ash's Muck, Cassandra's Paris, Ash's Charmeleon, Cassidy's Raticate, Afiro, Jesse's Arbok, James's Weezing, Blaine's Rhydon, Atoshi's Marowak, Raymond's Golem, Raymond's Pinsir, Raymond's Venomoth, Pete Pebbleman's Arcanine, Richie's Butterfree, and arguably Giovanni's Rhydon, Giovanni's Machamp, and Giovanni's Kingler. He lost 
to Brock's Onyx, Surge's Raichu, Sabrina's Kadabra, Anthony's Hitmonchan, Jesse's Lickitung, A Wild Jinx, Blaine's Magmar, Jeanette's Bellsprout, and Richie's Charmander. Over the course of the saga, Pikachu used Thundershock, Thunderbolt, Thunder, Agility, Quick Attack, and Double Edge. What I love most about Pikachu's Kanto adventures is how the saga laid the groundwork for his friendship with Ash. Ash and Pikachu have shared many adventures over the years, but there's nothing like seeing how it all started. Their relationship is the backbone of the series and a sweet reminder of how much fun a 20-year adventure can truly be. In our next installment of Pikachu's history, we'll see how Pikachu became not just Ash's greatest friend, but also one of his most prolific battlers. And with that, class is adjourned. Subscribe and hit the bell so you're never late, and for extra credit, like this video and let me know your thoughts on Ash's Pikachu. Until next time, catch you later.